Hey guys, it's the Wandering Wind with your host, Gregory. And today I thought I'd do something a bit different. You all know, and you all love, Disney films, right? I'm assuming most of us do. But over the years, Disney has given us some screwed up moments that have left us going, WTF? So here are the top seven of my most screwed up moments in Disney films, starting with number seven, which is a moment from Tony Story 3 that I thought just kind of smacked of World War II um, Jewish um, persecution and stuff. The incinerator, um, the incinerator scene, which to be honest is quite uh, I, 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 I like not to say it's symbolic, but in a way it is. Okay, long story short, Woody and the rest of the gang end up being thrown into an incinerator, in, incinerator by um, Lotso, which is the uh, this movie's big bad. And um, they seem to have absolutely no way out. And so in the last moments of their um, demise, they think, they decide to take a step of solidarity and join hands. Kind of, kind of, I don't know, it kind of feels like they're um, facing the gas chamber, so to speak, and, well, incinerator, gas chamber, kind of, you know, it's a, uh, it's a mass destruction kind of thing, so, anyway, that, that was quite screwed up. Next on the list, number six is Clayton's death in the Tarzan movie. Now, while we've had significant character deaths in Disney movies before, we had never had up till this point any kind of um, really even close to graphic detail about the event, other than a couple on the list that are up further up on the list. Clayton's death was messed up in a way. First of all, the, um, Tarzan and Clayton are fighting in, in the uh, vines on the trees, and um, Clayton gets tangled up and starts getting super pissed, and he starts slashing at just about every single vine there is around him. And, um, well, Tarzan tries to stop him and get, get him to see that Hey, look, you're about to cut yourself down. But before he can do that, Clayton's already cut the vine that he's holding on to to keep himself up, and he falls to his eventual death. The scream that we hear is also quite chilling, and after the first time I saw that movie, I did not want to see any kind of movies like that for a while. I also did not trust Disney for a while because, well, come on, it was supposed to be Disney. It was supposed to be safe, but then, oh, well, Tarzan. Anyway, number, <laughs> number five, um, so, sort of a lighter one, but still kind of screwed up. We have the pink acid trip, aka the pink elephant scene from Disney's Dumbo. Now, it was a toss-up between this one and Baby Mine, and I thought, why not go for the acid trip? I mean, granted, there are several other acid trips in Disney history. <coughs> Alice. <laughs> but, um, and, <laughs> yeah, Alice in Wonderland is a complete acid trip all the way through. But I thought, why not go with just the one scene? So, first of all, um, Dumbo's had a rough day in the circus, and he, come, he comes upon a tent with um, the staff drinking and partying and whatnot, and for some reason, there's a bucket, a bucket, a bucket, full of alcohol right outside of the tent. But, after both Dumbo and um, Timothy, I think, take a drink, they start seeing shit. Now, 
personally, I don't think this was just alcohol. There's an, there's an alcoholic substance called absinthe out there, which produces the exact effects that this pink acid trip was. Because they started saying pink elephants in the sky, and then a whole lot of crazy shit starts happening, and yeah. Pretty much, that was ab absinthe. That was not just... <laughs> anyway, next is back to the melancholy moments. If you ever watched a Disney movie, you would have never expected the first five to ten minutes of a movie to make you cry. Until we watched Up. Up's married life scene, it, well, sequence, is both lighthearted and soul-crushing, <laughs> to say the least. Um, first time I watched this scene, I ended up bawling just because... I mean, really. And, you know, you never hear what gets her in the end, but you do hear, or you do see, the, um, just the effects of the whole thing, so it, it was not fun to watch at all. And on that note, let's continue with the depressing moments of Disney. Um, number three is Bambi's mom. Now, we all know the story. Bambi and his mother searching for food during the winter, and um, Bambi's mom runs off because she hears a hunter. She tells Bambi to run. Bambi continues to run, even after he thinks that his mother is with him, but then he hears a gunshot. And he goes to find his mother, and she's dead. Yeah, this is Disney. Yeah, <laughs> it only gets worse from here. Next is Mufasa's death. Not number three is Mufasa. I mean, number two is Mufasa's death. Not only is this a screwed up moment. But it's even more screwed up because, number one, the entire situation was basically caused by Simba's um, disobedience of his father's rules and also Scar's influence and manipulation, but less that and more just Simba not thinking. Um, so Simba takes a trip to this valley chasing, I think he was chasing some sort of lizard. Yeah, he was chasing a lizard at one point. And um, the uh, hyenas, under Scar's control, create a stampede to put Simba in danger. Mufasa comes to the rescue, but unfortunately, as he's trying to climb out of the gorge, he ends up running into Scar, and Scar decides, Oh, well, guess what? I'm going to throw you back in. Simba runs down after the stampede is gone and tries to wake up his dad, but there's no waking him up. So, yeah. You have... You basically have a situation that was caused by the manipulation of a brother against another brother, but also, yeah. Anyway, um, number one, <laughs> and this is the whole thing, by the way, not just one scene. If you've ever watched classic Disney, you know that there are some questionable things, but... If you have never seen Education for Death, and you don't want to be really screwed up in the head for thinking, Disney made this? Don't watch it. <laughs> Education for Death is a Nazi propaganda, well, anti-Nazi propaganda short film created by Walt Disney himself. Yeah. <laughs> it's that kind of movie. Um, anyway, Education for Death, The Making of a Nazi. 
is one of the most one of the strangest Disney films I've ever watched and definitely one of the most screwed up Disney moments in its history just because of the fact that really you have you have this you have basically the making of a Nazi. Lovely. And of course this was back in the 40s, but then again, this is also from the company that brought you victory through air power um, and quite a few other propaganda films of the day. And they also brought you things like Song of the South and other suggestive and just questionable films from back that back in that day. Now, obviously these days we don't see anything like that from them. Oh, everything has to be politically correct. And <laughs> to be honest, I do prefer it that way from Disney at least. Although you see that they still have their moments. <clears throat> Oh, oh, honorable mention, the new Cars trailer. Yeah. People are complaining that it's too adult for kids. It's too scary. Grow up. Come on. They're going to grow up eventually. They're going to look back and watch this movie and they'll be like, hey, you know what? Yeah, wasn't as bad as I thought it was. But, you know, that's just me. That's my opinions. That's my neck of the woods. If you want to... If you want to give some input on why you think this list is wrong, or if it's right, or if you have something to add, there's that comment section down there. Please use it. And as always, thank you for watching. I hope you have a great day, because frankly, <laughs> I'm having a better day today than I have in a while. I love you guys very much. I hope you guys have a great night. I hope you have a great day tomorrow, and as always, I will see you when I see you. This has been The Wandering Wind. I have been happy to be your host today, and I thank you for watching. Hey guys, it's Gregory, and I just want to thank you guys for watching. You guys have been awesome people. Um, if you want to, click the link over in the top left over here, and um... Check out my Patreon page. I upload ordinary stuff every so often. I try and reward my patrons in any way possible. Um, click the links over to your right to um, check out a couple of my other videos. And as always, click the links down below in the description to check out my Patreon. I mean my social media pages. And as always, subscribe to my channel if you like my stuff. Thank <laughs> you.